Take one IAM Canvas revised mix. For years now, we've been negotiating for higher pay and better working conditions. We've been successful at the bargaining table, but we've lost a lot through government decisions. It's really discouraging. I'm really quite angry with what the government has been doing to the airline industry. Complaining about it isn't enough. I've become convinced that what we win at the bargaining table, we lost at the ballot box by failing to support candidates who support policies that help workers. In 1980, the IAM Convention adopted a new approach to political education and action. Our efforts on the political front had to go beyond traditional forms of political action, such as writing letters and lobbying politicians. That is why on-the-job canvas was developed. In other words, workers talking to fellow workers. When I was first approached about becoming a canvasser, I was really hesitant. I mean, I didn't want to come off sounding like some know-it-all, pestering people at work. But after it was explained to me, and I had the chance to try it out, I found it wasn't like that at all. Instead, I found it interesting and a lot of fun. What is on-the-job canvas? It isn't an arm-twisting campaign in favor of any political party. It isn't a top salesman award for shop stewards. It isn't an organizational headache for local union leadership. It isn't an academic exercise to turn shop stewards into policy experts. No, the on-the-job canvas is an exercise in communications and education. There are six easy steps to organizing an on-the-job canvas. Your first task is to identify an issue that affects the people in your workplace. I'm worried about the high cost of energy. It's eating away at my take-home pay and causing a lot of layoffs here at work. It seems to me that the worker is being made the fall guy by the government. It's become politically popular to cut back on services that help workers and cut taxes for the wealthy and corporations. I'm getting fed up with it. A lot of us are really worried about all of the layoffs in our industry. Something's got to be done. As you can see, there are major issues affecting each workplace. I try to point out the political alternatives available as objectively as possible. It's important to emphasize that it makes a difference which candidate we support. The next step is to ensure you have a leaflet. There are plenty of issues to choose from. Leaflets help keep the issue alive on the job site. Normally, these will be supplied. Your leaflet will do three things. One, Present the issue and how it will affect the person you are canvassing. Two, involve the person reading the leaflet through an exercise like a quiz or a petition so that he or she feels they have a personal stake in the issue. Three, explain each candidate's position on the issue. I found the leaflets to be quite useful in discussing the issues and they make the whole canvas more effective. The next step is to organize an on-the-job canvas. My job is to talk directly to my fellow workers and help make them more aware of the effects of government decisions on their everyday working lives. I meet personally with each worker in my area. I'm a shop steward and it makes it easier to communicate directly with the members. The shop steward is the ideal person to do the canvas. Ever since I got involved in canvassing, 
I've realized that each candidate has a very different position on issues that affect me and my family. So it's important that we vote on the basis of issues, not personalities. I would advise not to be pushy about any candidates. Don't tell people how to vote. You'll just insult them that way. Once they understand the issues, they should make the right choice. The canvassers have a support network to help them. The person that they have the most contact with is the canvas organizer. I'm a canvas organizer, and I see my role as a combination of team captain and coach. It is my job to keep a close eye on the progress of each and every canvasser. I also see to it that the canvas is conducted as smoothly as possible. The first thing I do is call a meeting of potential canvassers. This might include shop stewards, local officers, and activists. I talk about the canvas and how it operates. I distribute the canvas materials to the canvassers. My overall job is to assist the canvassers in their activities. I keep a daily file of each canvasser's progress with the help of a special binder. This binder contains a list of canvassers and a record sheet on which I make notes on the canvasser's progress. The canvas organizer would have support from the regional, state, and district coordinator. Let's take another look at the canvas team. The canvassers, who are the stewards or activists, talk up the issue with their friends and co-workers. The canvas organizers, who are the team captains, run the canvas at the workplace. The full-time personnel help get the campaign going in the local lodges they service. Now we have covered the first three steps of organizing a canvas. The fourth step is to organize a training session for the canvassers. I found the training session to be a great help in explaining the issues. The fact sheets are handed out to us and we discuss them. The most useful part of the training session is how to behave while canvassing, the do's and don'ts. We learn how to handle the yeah buts. The yeah buts are the kinds of questions canvassers are likely to get from the members during the canvass. For example. Yeah, but why vote? It doesn't change anything. Yeah, but what difference does it make? One candidate's the same as the other. Yeah, but why should a union get involved in politics? There are short and easy answers, and we give them to the canvassers. It gives the canvassers more ammunition and builds up their confidence. You've got the issue, the leaflet, the organization, and the training session. Now it's time to put it all together. Begin canvassing. Canvassing must be done at the work site, in the parking lot, the cafeteria area, the break area, the union office. I canvass either coming to or leaving work. It's challenging and it's fun. Evaluation is the final step in the canvassing process. After the canvas, it's a good idea to hold a little get-together with the canvassers to get their evaluation of the canvas and plot the course for the next time. The assessment should be passed to your district or regional coordinators. You might also take the opportunity to hold a party to thank the members for their participation in the canvas. The important thing to remember is on-the-job canvassing has been in operation here in Canada since 1979. It's been tested and proven to be an effective political education tool in a variety of workplaces. There's no question on-the-job canvassing will work here as it does in Canada. It gives me a good feeling. You do it for yourself. You do it for your own benefit 
and for the benefit of those who work with you. It's a terrific way to stay in touch with our members and to listen to their concerns. I wasn't sure at first. I was rather hesitant, but now I really enjoy it.